Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So there's this website yeah. called cashbackforex.com. So this is where I do calculate my risk before entering a trade. So all right so when you open this website the first thing you need to you know understand of course instrument those are just pairs and over here we have deposit currency we have open price stop loss and you know the account balance and of course this is the amount of risk of one percent so if you have one percent that's it so let's see for example gold trade Let's say you want to take a sell on gold and uh, let's have it like this, your stop loss of gold. Let's say this is the last high and probably you want to take your sell position right now. So let's say you took a sell right here and of course your stop loss above probably something like this. So for you to you know, calculate your risk or for you to know the amount of losses that you should be using on gold trade this is what you should be doing so before you enter your trade double click on that so this is your enterprise i do copy that enterprise then now i go back to the oh that was gold trade of course now you need to search over here gold usd so this is gold right there so i'll double click on that and then i paste the value that you did copy from uh, the trading view over here you see that's the open price and then now i need to insert the stop loss level so over here i double click click once again copy and then go back to the cashback website then i double click right here and then i paste so back to account balance so you need to key in your account balance now, for example, if I have a 5,000 funded account, then I'll just hit on calculate. So you see that I should be entering that, that trade with a seven, you know, 0 0.17 lot size. You see, then you see I'm risking 50%, I mean $50. That means this is just 1%. Did you guys get that? Yes yes so if you have let's say you have a 500 dollar account let's see if that's possible to risk one percent so with 500 dollar account of course your entry should be 0 0.01 meaning you'll be risking only five dollars right here if you risk one percent and let's say you had a hundred dollars you see i don't know if you can open a position with a 0 0.003 because most broker do allow you a you know a minimum of 0 0.01 so you you see taking i mean risking one percent on a hundred dollar is kind of hard see then let's say you risk five percent if you risk five percent that means you're going to have 0 0.01 and your stop loss of course you know i mean the money risked is just five dollars I hope you guys are getting that. Yeah. All right. So yes, I understand. Okay. So the website May is I... Cashback. Cashbackforex.com. Oh, Any other question or suggestion? You guys are good. Yes. Okay. We're only good if we're making money. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't know. I don't know if you guys have been practicing on uh, the trend line thing. Are you guys good trend line right now as we speak? <laughs> Or I should go over that. Yeah, yes. I'm okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
ex exclusive forex you can mute your you can unmute your mic yes good evening sinners. uh please uh th this is my first day yes in class as your mentee right so i need to know the concepts used in drawing the trend lines if i were able to follow up no problem no problem so i don't know how you are going to, uh, to, to no problem so guys i'll go over train once again but then after that probably we should brush on over um you know patterns and wednesday we should be talking about patterns as we proceed anyway all right once again trends guys i keep on saying that you know for you to draw your trend lines consider starting from the previous last two we have right here the last two and this one so your trend should pass through those last two areas or lo last two lows or highs or you know weeks or candlesticks so if i start from that make sure i have one two so one two second touch and now on the third touch this is where we you know we do execute our positions but we don't just execute our positions the moment the market touch our third you know trend line or our support or our resistance so we look out for reversal patterns or continuation patterns so probably for example gold if it touches this level it might go up then maybe comes down to give a double bottom that's when it's okay for you to take a buy position that is after gold breaking the new high or breaking that neckline but if that doesn't happen we look out for continuation patterns something like this maybe gold comes then comes down then start to do this then now if it gives probably a double top right here confirmed sale position or if it gives out a head and shoulder then it should be a confirmation that now gold wants to go down something like this okay like us keep on saying you only take your positions only if you see reversal patterns that is only after you see a double top or a double bottom or head and shoulder or an inverse head and shoulder if we don't have those reversal patterns then we don't execute any position <laughs> even if you see that the market is dropping or is pushing all the way up don't take any position just let it go all right so any question um regarding the uh, drawing the trend lines mm -hmm. obviously the chart that we're looking at is an hour is, is an hour's time frame one hour time frame yeah are you able to do it from three months because yes. last week you said it's yes. best to start from three months yes but, yeah but then this was just an illustration on how to draw trend line but then if oh, no, you, yeah illustration if, oh, okay yeah and but if we want to start our analysis actually i was going through you know trading view the day before yesterday and i realized even going back to the you know the last 12 month time frame is kind of making you know making sense and i think it's way too safe if we start from that time frame for example you see gold gold is at the third touch based on the 12 month time frame you see but then now if people are analyzing their their, their trade based on the lower time frame they won't realize mm -hmm. that right now gold is at a key level which means any time from now she might drop okay if we go to the lower time frame let's say we just hit the one hour where we were and uh you know based our analysis of this pattern we might be looking for buys but in real sense gold has touched that you know, the 12 month 
resistance. I hope you guys can see that line that we did draw from the in the, the 12th month. This one. Yeah. yeah so you see it's kind of risky. So I, I think the best way for us to take an entry on gold is just call this an impulse correction. Impulse then I think this is just kind of a bigger version of an impulse. I mean correction before we see gold dropping. So we might have this right here. Something like this. Now if you kind of look at it, it makes sense because this might this might be the left shoulder, then this might be the head. Now if it touches this level then plays around this area like we anticipate it might give us the right shoulder something like that right shoulder then now we sell i think i think it's making sense you guys okay yeah okay yeah yeah it's making sense all right now let me on impair and then show you how i draw my trends and how i interpret the market okay so for example in the djpy then we start from the 12th month it's, it's kind of crazy though starting from 12th month you know one candlestick is, is equal to one year so before we start drawing our trends probably i might have a level marked out maybe a resistance since we don't have any you know good position you know to draw our trends so probably we we need to maybe uh, talk about demand and supply type of a, a strategy so if i have that as a supply or a resistance then maybe over here of course this is a support level so it, it kind of makes sense already probably this might be a double top you see based on the 12 month time frame right you guys know about double top or and double bottom right yeah all right now what if i take a trend you know it's just trying out everything guys as long as it makes sense then go for it so you see right there now with this trend line already i've seen that you know price might manipulate that it wants to give a double bottom but then that's not the case the market only wants to give us a third touch that's when it drops because that's the second touch on already we've not seen a third touch right there so it might do this maybe a little bit goes up that's when she drops but this is based on 12 month time frame this might take time so if we have that kind of a play then we should go to the lower time frame probably look for buy position then uh, let's hit the one month because already we have our levels drawn or match so if you see how the one month is looking it's kind of making sense for me something like this Mm -hmm. so i might call this let me just have this remove i might call this now if i bring another trend something like this i might call this a correction so we had an impulse then this is kind of a correction and all this is just an impulse so we are still at the impulse phase and i believe that the market has a potential you know to go and target this trend before we look uh, we look for sales position so Taking sell on NZDJPY right now, I think it's not a good idea. But at the same time, we still have this level. Yeah, most people are going to take their sell position. I believe so. But then that sh should be okay. We should take a, that as an advantage. Then now, if we, so if we see buy property, that's when we buy. Now, that is still based on the monthly time frame. So, as we keep on going to the lower time frame since the market is at the resistance we need to understand what the market is doing at that resistance if we see a reversal structure we execute if we see a continuation pattern we execute so that's that is what we're just going to look out for in the lower time frame how price is playing around that resistance level so this 
so we, we might bring in more trends too once again before anything probably something like this as long as it makes sense guys you just try out anything as long as it makes sense you might have that but before that just a meaning let me just remove this So you see, it kind of crazy. When we go to the lower time frame, we can't see the last high. It's kind of crazy. Um, I know most people won't be, you know, looking to the left. To not, uh, not everybody will realize that that is a resistance level. Nobody. All right. Anyway, let's have it right here. As a reminder, at the same time, we might have a trend right here. And this is it. Yeah, so let me remove the trends that we did draw from the one, what is the one hour? I think four hours, something like that. So this is what we have based on the daily. So we see we had an impulse correction. So impulse correction so i believe the market or price is just you know trying to continue to its upward movement so let's go to the four hour now okay so based on the h4 we need to concentrate like i said before we need to concentrate on this level see how price is going to react so what should we be looking out for reversal patterns or continuation patterns now, if we can't draw ends, then we should go to the lower time frame. 15. 15 minutes should be good. So, probably something like this. And uh, something like this. Alright. Mm -hmm. Right now we're just trying anything guys. We had another trend. Something like this. We had something like this. So if we remember from the highest time frame, we had a level right here, a resistance. Mm -hmm. Like I said before. For a good entry strategy, we should see a reversal pattern or a continuation pattern. So right now, this is what the market is doing. We've not seen any sign that it wants to go up or it wants to go down. So we should be waiting, patient now. So what if the market does this, comes down, then now goes up a little bit, then now breaks that will be a good sell confirmation now look at this left shoulder right here head neckline right shoulder goes down so, so that is a good confirmation for sale now what if the market does this comes down goes up a little bit comes down then now breaks out of this high so if you see that that's a double bottom so it just tells you that you should be taking your buy position now I repeat, the only thing you should be waiting for are just reversal structures or continuation pattern. We might wait for head and shoulder to take it down or we might wait for another, you know, I mean double bottom before it goes up. So we should be looking out for price reaction around this resistance level because this is a key level. Anything that happens here should be. The green light should be telling us whether to take a buy or to take a sell. Any question, guys? I don't care. Good.
Mm. Okay, so it means that it's okay to draw your train lines on any time frame. Yes. Make sure you use provided it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't you you can go up to the one minute. In fact, let's just go to the one minute and see what the market is doing. One minute also have trends. So you see, it kind of makes sense. Now, look at this. You can have a trend right here. One, two, three, and let's see. It's going to respect. So actually, since this is a live market, one minute, let's see how price is going to react around that key level, the current level that the price is. So we see we had a first touch, second touch, and the third touch. So right now, let's just see. Okay, it might take time. So what we understand is price already has given us a level right here, which is a low, not bad. And we see price has given us another high right here. Okay, so this 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 is the scenario. The market might do this, comes down. And then now breaks this is a double bottom or the market might do this then maybe give another double top then now breaks can you see that guys so let's see what the market might do but then it might take time though so one minute i believe should be good for scalping if you're a scalper, you might, you know, take your entry based on the 1 minute, 15, 5. But if you kind of see, these are just 10 pips. You know, if you target over here, that's like 4 pips. Not bad either way for scalping. So you see, the trends also make sense on the 1 minute. Do you have a question, guys? Any question? No question now. No. Lisa, you good? Yep, I'm good. Okay. Now, I want to give you a scenario. Let's maybe go to the H1. Or oh, let me just remove these drawings actually. So let me talk about patterns, for example. Now, let's say we have a trend. The market is going up. So this is it. We might see a higher high, of course, higher low, second touch. Then the market goes up, then comes down to give out the last, you know, the third touch, that is. And like I said before, this is where we should be looking for buy properties. Okay. So let me give you a scenario right here or even just yeah let me just draw the pattern so if we look at this trend that's a downtrend okay remember we are looking for a, um, a buy position but this approach this one is a downtrend so that just means that the market is still in a downtrend and we should not be looking for buy position so for us to look out for buy position we should make sure that the market has you know done away with the downtrend so this is what i'm trying to say let me try to see if let me just say let me magnify this downtrend so this is the case i believe the market does this lower low lower high lower low lower high so remember we have our trend let's say this is just our trend something like this so this downtrend is this one so of course you bring your trend line something like this make your trends like that let's just have it like this now for us to take a buy position like i said before we need to make sure that the market is done with the downtrend so how will we know that the market has done with the downtrend so we go to the 15 and then of course let's say that this this structure that we just drew is based on the 15 now on the 15 look at this we have a touch first touch 
second touch and of course the third touch now on to the third touch most people are going to take their sale position which is okay now when price gives out this drop this you bring your trend or your your rectangular tool then mark that level that the market you know kind of reversed away from okay then what you need to do go back to the one hour then i'll wait for a candlestick to break this high that the market you know did reverse from so something like this now if it breaks make sure it close one hour candlestick then that is when you take your buy position your stop loss below where the market or price reversed from something like this then you target all the way up okay so now look at this 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 also left shoulder the head and a right shoulder so those are results guys do you have any question question okay like oh if the market go, goes down like that mm -hmm. then start consolidating mm -hmm. oh is it advisable to take any trade like right. oh so, so if the market is trying to give a, a big up mm. so this is it so if you see that the market is consolidating let, let's just have it once again let's say we have a support level just a minute we have a support level wow what's happening we have our support level something like this then you see that the market comes down then start consolidating something like this then you know give out clear structure then i do advise probably of course have that as your high and have this as your low now if this market breaks out of this high we don't take a trade now this is this is way different because there's no reversal plus even if we have a reversal guys make sure you just you know i mean even if we have reversal just look at this the market has consolidated for a while around this zone so what makes you think that if it breaks with the one hour candlestick that that is just a confirmation that now the market is going to go all the way up or what makes you think that if it breaks it should be going down so one hour candlestick break won't mean a thing this time it won't mean a thing so this is how we should be taking a consolidated you know type of a market wait for the market to go up once again then for us to confirm that all right this market is now safe for us to take a buy let me just have this right here let me remove this okay so like i was saying let the market break then guess what let the market give us a new high comes down once again then now if you see the market giving new high mark that level something like this now what you need to do is wait for the market to take out this new high that it created now if it takes out that high something like this that is when you wait for one hour candlestick to close above then you take your entry right there of, and now your stop loss below where the market reversed from something like this now is going to be confirmed because the market has given us a series of a higher high higher low higher high higher low then it took out that new high so that means the market is breaking out highs and the only way that the market is being high that just means that the market is in an uptrend and the market has already started moving do you have any question and of course vice versa when we when we talk about sell position when we talk about sell position we just wait for the market to break that level gives new low comes up now the moment it breaks out of this high after identifying our candle then that is when you take your sell position something like this Mm. 
all right i hope you guys got that do you have any question guys yeah i'm okay with that let's just look out for a scenario in the where the market or price is consolidating let me try to find out mm. Yeah, right here the market is moving sideways. Right here. So what happened? Now look at this. It consolidated for a while. Then now it broke. Then now, like I said before, one hour candlestick break below won't mean that you should be taking a sell position because the market has been consolidating for a while. So it's going to be risky. So I said, wait for the market to drop the way it did, give out a new low, of course, it did give out a new low right here, then wait for the market to take out that new low, something like this, wait for the market to take out that new low, that's when you take your sale position, stop loss above, and if that doesn't happen, we don't do a thing, and you see, it never happened, it went up, and guess what, went up, gave out a new high, then identify that new high right here give out a new high now wait for that hour i mean the yeah of course the new high to be taken out something like this with one hour candlestick closing above where are we where is that here one hour candle closing above. Where are we? <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. We had a, an hour candlestick. And of course, if you want, you might add more conference. You see, this is a continuation pattern. And guess what? The market went up. I hope you guys can see this pullback. The market gave out a new low, a mini version. Let me just have this right here. So you see the market did that. Impulse, correction. Remember the new high, guys. Then, guess what? Like I said before, on the third touch, we see how price is reacting. And of course, we maybe we start our, our trend from that, this, the last two something like this now we wait for the last i mean the third touch based on this one two and we see how price reacting about i mean around that third touch so we see it went up then pull back giving us a new high right here mark that then give give a new low mark that level right there now if it breaks above then our candle i hope you guys see this big candlestick that broke above the new high that price did give out this one this candlestick right here so that's when you take your buy entry position something like this mm -hmm. and uh, your stop loss below where price you know reversed from and you target if you scalp of course your first tp right here 33 pips and you let the market do its thing. Did you guys get that? Yeah. Okay. So we you see that we 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 we've included actually another trend right here and a continuation pattern and a reversal. Remember our reversal the, the the one that I said you only take your entry after you see a reversal right here we have a double bottom hope you guys can see that let's go back to the one hour where were we okay right here is this reversal double bottom that's a w then the market gave out a confirmation continuation pattern then it broke this one 
Can you guys see that clearly? Hmm? Yeah, I can see. All right, then the market did go up, then gave another confirmation, continuation pattern right here. Then you just have that drawn something like this, something like that. And guess what, guys? Wait for another reversal. So, can you guys see the the reversal that I'm talking about before I tell you? Any any suggestion? What do you see? Do you see any reversal? Yes, I've what seen do you, the reversal. Yeah. What do you see? I've seen the reversal. Is it the uh, the diagonal is what? The, 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 the pattern after the continuation pass, you can see it's a reversal pattern. Which one? We have Bullish this structure fork. going up. Bullish flag. This, this is a continuation pattern, a bullish flag. Yes, now we have a bullish flag, but then I say that is just a downtrend. All this is a downtrend. Remember, I said we were looking for buys, but then the market is still on a downtrend. So, for us to take a buy entry, the market has to change its direction from bear, bearish to bullish. So, right now, this is what we have. Now, inside this bearish flag, can you get any reversal? Yeah, I can yes. see an inverse head on Jordan. Correct. That is it. That is what I'm trying to say. Look at that. This is the left shoulder. Then this is the head, the right shoulder. And we have a neckline right there. Now, if it breaks with an hour candlestick, let me just give you a scenario. Can you guys see that hour candlestick right here? This one broke up. Then guess what? That is where you make your yeah. entry level right there. And where should our stop loss below where the market turned right here? Make sure, guys, you take care of the week. This is the level where you should have your stop loss. And uh, as a scalper, target this high right here 35 pips, not bad. As a day trader or a swing trader, continue holding. You see. And the market gave out another continuation pattern. This is it, guys. Let me let me tell you something. When you see an inverse head and shoulder or a head and shoulder, let's say this is an inverse head and shoulder, something like this. I say you hide the left shoulder. Now, if you hide the left shoulder, take your trend line tool, then have your trend starting from the head, make it pass around, you know, the right shoulder, something like that. So when you see that the price is already gone up expect the market to come back to give you a third touch where you should take another buy position i hope you guys got that and vice versa now if you look at this we've seen an inverse head and shoulder left shoulder head right shoulder something like that so now if i bring a trend like i say hiding the left shoulder if we hide this something like this now if i bring in a trend passing from the head all the way through the right shoulder you see, it kind of makes sense. That is the same area or zone that price went back to retest, something like this. And guess what? I believe when we go to the lower time frame, we should identify that there was another inverse head and shoulder on the 15 minutes right here, left shoulder, head, something like that. Now, the market breaks with an hour candle once again. Take your entry, have your stop loss below. Then... Have your TP right there, whichever. So you see, it makes sense. Guys. Don't take your entry before you see a reversal pattern. Any question, guys? I don't hear question. <coughs> you good, everybody? Is okay. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, so let me. I have a pair right here, GBP NZD, and uh, that I was trying to look at if I can see something. And uh, let me just do the analysis with you guys before we call it a day. I think this analysis was quite easy. 
just the same thing we just talked about can you guys see that inverse head and shoulder this one this is the left shoulder based on the daily right, i mean the head went up right shoulder then guess what went up and now the market has given us that third touch can you see see that guys remember i said when you see an inverse head and shoulder or a head and shoulder hide yes. the left you hide the left shoulder so if this is the left shoulder this one if i hide it remember this is the head hide it just like this this is actually what I, I did you know come across actually these are just my invention hiding the left uh, the left shoulder so like i say start your drawing from the head make sure the uh, the trend line passes through the right shoulder giving it the second touch and now you see already price has gone back to give us the third touch and that is where we should be executing first touch second touch that touch now that is based on the daily now if we understand that the market or price is on the third touch then we should look for buy properties on the lower time frame let's go to the one hour now okay this is the h1 we understand there's a level right here that price of course gave out a new high lower high then now dropped so i'm seeing that the market is giving us a, another uh, bullish structure higher high higher low higher high higher low so i'm anticipating that the price has a potential to, to you know to come back to give me a higher low that is where i'm going to take my buy position then of course i'm anticipating the market will hit this level and pull back and if you kind of see that might be left shoulder or head and right shoulder I hope you guys can see that all right now that's based on the 50 uh, one hour now if we go to the 15 you see we have bullish structures a higher high higher low higher high higher low higher high so I'm anticipating that price you know of course is going to touch this level now if it touches that level or that support then I should wait for another reversal sign maybe a double bottom then I take my entry position and I think it might give out left shoulder head comes back to give out right shoulder I think that makes sense guys I hope you guys can see that clearly and I think this one is looking too good for swing position even though we have news tomorrow I believe so unemployment rate coming out on the GBP side which is crazy but this one has good potential over 400 pips but from this level to this level it's around 84 pips which is not bad still but as a swing trader I think this is good if you hold any question guys Any question before we call it a day? I don't have questions. Okay. So, hi, boss. Hmm? Are you hearing me? Yeah, I can hear you. So, ideally, what is the time frame do you usually make your entries? One hour. One hour time frame. Yes. Okay. So but however, your, 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 stops, your stops depends on the pair you are trading, right? You don't have specific. No, I don't like, have. I don't have. What you should you target? Yes. My stop loss will be based on where price has reversed from. The last low or the last high. That's where I have my stop loss. Oh, okay. Okay. So now maybe let me give you guys an assignment. So. I need you guys to go and uh, try to you know practice on trend line drawing your trend lines what we talked about today and of course I'm I was recording the screen so I'm just going to send you of course the the recorded session so use that for reference and uh, send me those screenshots and let me see how you guys have drawn your trends so I hope that's okay guys let's call it a day and see you later Bye-bye.